maybe talk us like from a, a macro view of, of the entire defense. I mean, with everything you wanted to accomplish all the way back in mid-March, how do you feel right now at the end of spring? Practice? I mean, we feel good, but not great. You know, there's obviously things that you leave on the field that we need improvement with. Uh, but the big picture, and again, uh, as a coaching staff, you know, following Donnie's lead, he's got a big picture mentality the whole time. And, and we've grown, we've gotten better as a whole. And there's a lot of guys in that group that have really improved the whole bunch. But if we're going to be where we want to be, uh, today was a good example is, you know, uh, even though we kept things very vanilla and, and Donnie wasn't trying to do too much today, uh, there's just a lot of stuff you leave on the field that, you know, there's plenty to grow on. So there's a lot of young guys that really have uh, grown up a lot these last couple of weeks, and so it's, it's good progress. Are there any differences for you in terms of playing under Donnie's defense and APs? There's always going to be little things, but i got to give Donnie a whole bunch of credit that he went out of his way to try to keep things the same and, and try to keep as many things consistent as he could. And in his words, it was for the kids. i I, I got to tip my hat to him. I know my guys really appreciate it that we've kept a lot of the things for the most part the same. Uh, but every play caller has a rhythm. And so as we get into this, getting used to everything, the guys get used to the play calling rhythm and uh, it'll all be great. But the, you know, the biggest thing is, is that he kept everything for the most part the same. And I know the kids have played fast because of it. Just speaking as a defensive coach, uh, you guys make great strides over the last three years. Uh, last year gave up just a little over 20 points. What do you have in place to kind of build off that to be even better this year? You know, the thing is, is, the problem with that is there is no momentum. You got to build it up from the ground up every year. But like we just talked about, keeping things the same, the kids don't have to learn a whole new dictionary. They already know the terms and we can communicate. I think the biggest thing is all the things that have hurt us over the years, there's a Rolodex of those things. These kids remember those things. And we don't make the same mistakes we did two years ago. That's the benefit. Um, of keeping things uh, going in the right direction, but the standard has to stay high. You got to build it from the ground up. So every year you get better. Guess what? The distance between the ground and that standard gets a lot greater. So the work gets harder. And so we got to keep going from there. But we got good kids. They know how to win. They've seen the standard, and they know how to work. So hopefully we'll be able to get it all done. Anybody in particular you impressed with tonight? Or well, you watch film again? I have to watch film. Ah, I, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be. Ah, come on. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but. Just looking out there, there's some guys that made some plays out there, obviously. You saw uh, you know, some of our new guys make some plays too. And so it's exciting, the, the young guys coming out. I think it was Keon who made a good tackle for loss right there. So we got that. And I think it was Corey, our, our new safety from our transfer from Hawaii, yes, made a big play. That was really exciting. And you know, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the D-line. So I saw Garen Stansberry make a couple plays. And I saw, you know, I saw those guys do some good stuff. So hopefully, you know, we'll see them grow from that. Is there anything in terms Thanks. of like improvement for the whole group that you've seen over spring ball? You know what? I got to tell you, the cohesion of the communication of the group has improved. It's not where we need it to be. But as a whole, you're seeing some guys, they sound like mouses at the beginning, making their calls, and they're starting to sound assertive when they're out there, being on the sideline. That needs to improve still, but that's something that's improved a great deal from, from day one to now. So hopefully that'll continue to grow over the summer as, the, as we do meetings and these kids get to work out together and talk about this stuff. Hopefully by the time we get back to the fall, we'll have a greater group of communicators across the board. What impact does that communication have on the field? I mean, it's like, it's honestly, it's everybody's got to be on the same page and when they see the ball, wherever it does, everybody knows how to react in the same manner and you know where your help is. So communication is the, is the key component of what we do. It's the foundation of what we do and Donnie's been preaching it since day one. And uh, if we're going to be great, we need to be great communicators.